Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Trap. Alright, so what we're going to talk about today is what I got finally in the mail. It is my first Info second generation pneumatic manual 6.5 liter 1.7 gallon extractor. And nice little pretty box. So let me go ahead and yank this right off of here. Oh, isn't that pretty? Off the side, open up Mr. Box. First thing we got an instructions manual in wow, that's pretty. And then the other items that they sell that hard looks like it's in uh, looks like it's Chinese, but we don't know yet. I'm not gonna transcribe but there's the instructions we'll go through all that here in a little bit but basically right now what we're going to do is we're just going to inventory stuff so we got our box mr box has a little flap over i'm hoping like hell i don't see anything broken well where the box got smushed luckily there's no damage so that's a nice thing Comes with the hoses, and that's pretty much it in the box. Okay. Okay. This is the first Info Tool Pneumatic Operations Fluid Extractor Manual. Okay, like I said, the safety instructions, the features, the model, and what it comes with, breakdown of actual each every piece of equipment, the pneumatic instructions the manual instructions and then from there it breaks off into Chinese and on the back it's still it's basically Chinese instructions here is your IPC um, the problem is the IPC doesn't really tell you what the part number is of each individual part broken down and then over here is basically how to use it um, how to dump it and uh, how to use the fluid drain setup all right and then back to the front all right all right let's do the inventory basically what you see is what you get your tubes extension your pump all right now go in here per our model it is an a1102y5 and per what we're supposed to have with ours, it says that basically we do not have the brake bleed hose kit. Understand? You can order it later if you decide to. I have a brake bleed kit. I really don't need it. But you never know. Okay. So, your main extractor hose is this one right here. The inside diameter is 7.8 millimeters. And the outside is 9.8 millimeters. Okay. Put that there. Okay, followed by your next one will be the extension nylon tube. Its outside diameter is 6.7, inside diameter is 5.3. Okay, put that up there. Followed by your extension nylon tube, which is 6 millimeters outside, 4 millimeters inside, and also it came with the dipstick. We'll get to that in a second. Then you're followed by the last extension and this one outside diameter is 4.5 millimeter inside diameter is 3.5 millimeter. Okay. Then you come along and you have a dipstick. This is just check and make sure that if you still got oil you can swim around. It's basically a dipstick that if something you have does not have a dipstick and it's just got an open access plug you can use this to go ahead and go down and check it. <clears throat> and then you can put it right back in whichever one. Um, it's pretty blunt, but it does have a little sharpness to it. So just be careful when you put it back in your hose. Actually, I don't like it going in that one. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in this one. Let's get a little bit more play. Bend it straight out a little bit so that it doesn't cause any issue. Get caught up in there, okay. So then we got the tubes, 
right at the get-go. This is your quiver extension. And I'm just calling it a quiver because I remember arrows and stuff for bow hunting. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, put this all in here, like so. Now you can, after you put it, but it's just so I can go ahead and put everything in there. Okay, so then it goes on the back back here. See, right through there. And you hold that, whoop, and it locks in. You might wanna, if it gets feeling flimsy or something, you might wanna put something there to stiffen it, you know, or it won't come apart. I mean, it's pretty stout. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and stick everything back down in there. Oh, and the other thing is the tubes are 41 inches long. Okay, so just if anybody asks. Okay, now this is the tank itself. It has warning, uh, basically going through your safety precautions and what temperature you need to make sure that you're aware of, of when you're using this. Okay, this is your pouring instructions. It tells you the best way to pour. It's basically an important sticker. Okay, up here is your air inlet for to cause your vacuum. It has a nice little anodized, I think it's just fake anodized plastic shroud over here for the air, but you have an on and off switch. It came with its own little fitting. You can see right there. Okay, and this is your manual pump. Ah, oh, look, I'm your father. This is where you connect this one in and it's made to lock in, okay? So it locks into place. Now, there is not a connection tube that comes in, so basically when you're pulling fluid, it's gonna automatically just dump in there. There's no tube inside. I'll do a picture so you guys can see. You'll see it, it'll be down here somewhere. All right, okay? You have six screws that are up here with six nuts holding this basically on top of the tank assembly. So if you needed to take it apart, just those six screws, pop it apart, and away you go. Then on the back, of course, your quiver, the extension you add. Now it does have an increments of half liter to liter. Okay, so like you got half a liter, then a full liter, half a liter, yeah, okay. What I went ahead and did is I went ahead and marked it with my Sharpie so that I could see it better. And then you'll see this one over here is basically pointing up here as the max that this can be filled to so that you can pour it out, okay? Don't go above the max, but it, it's funny because the line goes starts here and goes all the way right to max. So they want you to follow it. Followed by, it has a foot. So when you use the manual, it's kind of like a tire pump setup. So you keep the foot placed there and you go ahead and pump, 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 and away you go. It has a decompressing valve right here that you push in so that you can kill the vacuum. All right, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Then also it came with the gratuity, gratitude, dear customer, the normal stuff. It's also in um, Chinese. Uh, then they sent out a neat little catalog that they have with a whole bunch of different stuff that they have in here. Um, they have a 1-800 number, fax number, email, Skype, payments that they prefer, um, saying that most orders, 99%, are shipped within one and two days of business complete. Um, the company is called firstinfotools.com. Uh, they have a Facebook, a YouTube, but it's under the Fit Tools, so it's probably a couple different names and there's probably a couple different companies that use the exact same setup. This is just the one that's on first info. So that's it in a nutshell. When you go ahead and you assemble all this, the one thing you might want to do is drill, drill a couple little holes, which I will, so that these could actually, the tubes can actually drain down. Cause after a while, you know, that there's always that little chance there's gonna be a little bit of oil, depending on how much you use it, that the oil will come down and collect at the bottom. And then after a while, you might develop a little puddle down in there. And then when you go to pull these out, you might wick and then you might splatter yourself or someone or a project or somebody's vehicle. So just be mindful if you want, just go ahead and blow little holes there, put a little you know, rag or something just to collect any residual that you have. Um, it's pretty stout. Um, 
all in all it's a great little thing I'm gonna give it a shot I got mine off of Amazon okay and the dimensions all right the tank is approximately six inches crossed it's approximately 21 and a half inches high so it's 21 and a half this way this is six inches across if you add in the, the quiver I know I'm probably saying it wrong but that's all right at least you're getting the point it's roughly around seven and a half inches so basically it's seven and a half inches from face to here okay so there you go there's your dimensions um, PSI is recommended from 40 to 170 and believe me it's on the top it tells you 40 to 170 so um, when you go to clean out basically you've got a nice little spit drain right there where it'll drain out but just be mindful of where your max is and it's going to meet you there so it's kind of in the diagrams it shows you so it's got a nice little dust cover it stays right there um the only other thing is is these are kind of a hard plastic they're not really rubber so when you connect them in there um just you're gonna have to work it a little bit one thing i do is when I have these, I put a little Vaseline around here and just makes it a little bit easier to work in there. Um, no signs of well, you know, possibly swelling. This is the first one I've really got to own. So we're going to test it out in following videos. You'll see, or following this video, you'll see me using it on probably a edge and a lawnmower that's behind me or maybe my four wheelers. But anyways, there you go. Here we go. I'm going to take out the magic wand. Okay. Turn that over. Now you're going to notice that I got this on here. The fitting that I have, um, my main fittings, is not like this one. It holds and everything, but it still has air bleeding by. So, to make it a little bit quieter, I went ahead and gave it its own muffler. Okay. Take it down. To lock it over. And then you grab the small one that's going to go down inside. So instead of holding it all the way up here, then we can put it back down here. And you connect it in there. Okay? And then you reach over and you grab the dipstick. Put it off to the side. Kind of. Because it's going to need to be clean. So then you take this of me doing this so basically you take this you go down inside a little spot to where it bottoms out okay reach over turn on your air valve Hey everybody, one thing I forgot to tell you everybody, when you do the tubes, the tubes, this is your primary, the one that connects to here, okay, and then these all connect to this tube, so all the other tubes that you have only go to this tube right here, they don't daisy chain, so you can't connect this tube with this tube, it's not going to happen. Just wanted to make sure that everybody understood that. I forgot to put that in there. And that's it. One last thing. The warning label. Okay. Basically, in a nutshell, what it's talking about is make sure you wear your PPE gear. Make sure the kids don't play with this. That it does have flammable uh, fluids in it. Uh, be cognizant of the vapors. Um, on top of that, don't use this to extract solvents, poisons, or chemicals. And if by chance you magically, it has happened, get it to its collection point. And most of all, do not store this. This is not a storage tank. This is basically a transfer tank. On top of that, the final part is, 
that it operate they tell you the temperature range and that is between 1 Celsius to 95 Celsius or 33 degrees Fahrenheit to 203 degrees Fahrenheit um, and at the very bottom it tells you in the application it's for transmission engine oil stuff like that okay well I hope this video has helped you if you got any questions or anything feel free to leave a comment down below and if you can think of anything that might possibly help the videos feel free but as always keep them positive keep them motivated y'all have a great and safe day okay bye